So we get asked all the time, Coop, why would you spend so much money on a barbell? So usually I go through the specifications of the bar, such as the knurling, Ooh, I love the spin of the bar, <laughs> the size of the shaft. <laughs> so despite doing literally hundreds of barbell reviews, we've never compared the most expensive one to the cheapest one. But today, that's exactly what we're doing. Watch out, man, watch out. All right, so I've got this idea I need you to figure out. I want to do a best, most expensive barbell versus cheapest barbell, and I want to compare them side by side. So just like neural to neural? No. I want to test the strength of the bars. Each company comes out and says, this bar is weighted for a thousand pounds. I want to see how much they're actually rated for. But at the end of the day, it's steel versus steel. There's a vast difference between a thousand dollar bar and an eighty dollar bar. From the time we open the package to the time we load up thousands of pounds on the bar. Okay, let's Get go. To. Let's go. Do it! God dang it. So let's meet the contenders. First up is the most expensive. Really the most expensive viable bar that you can buy is an Aleco. This is the Aleco Olympic weightlifting training bar. This is the same bar that they use in the training centers for the Olympic games. The heaviest cleaning jerkers, the heaviest snatchers in the world are using this bar to train with. I've had one for years. They are amazing. They're expensive, over a thousand dollars. They also have a crazy max load of over 3,300 pounds. Sam! I'm talking over 3,300 pounds. Today we're gonna test it. Now go. Now the next one is a little bit harder to figure out because I know the most expensive, I know the best, I use them. But the cheapest one, that was hard. Sam, not this one. Gosh dang it. We wanted to find the cheapest barbell on Amazon and not the cheapest one that nobody would ever use. It's like a standard barbell. No, we want an Olympic barbell. That is this guy. Thank you, Sam. As you can tell from the packaging, this thing is cheaper. This thing is only $80. It's made by Cap Barbell. It has a weight rating of much less than the other and it's much cheaper. So today we're gonna compare this one versus the most expensive one. Let's do it. Let's first talk about the Aleco weightlifting training bar. This is one of the most expensive bars on the market. And you can see just from the packaging experience, it literally comes with a Leco branded plastic. And oh, would you look at that? A mustache brush. Oh, it's beautiful. Oh my goodness. This neural is incredible. She's smooth. Now the cheapest bar. And the plus side of this bar is it's already half open for you. As you can see the packaging, <laughs> oh my, what's that smell? Oh my gosh, the paint. This is literal paint. It's made to look like Cerakote. There's not even really knurling. Look, the, there's no knurling here. It's straight paint. If you're far enough away, this looks pretty darn good. The surprising thing is this does spin. The problem is there's no bushing or bearing. So it's literally the metal spinning on the metal shaft. And it also comes with an authenticity sticker so you know that it's authentically awful. Before we test the weight limit, I've got to see what it's like to lift with. Okay, this thing has center knurling. It's supposed to be center knurling. There's really not much there. I don't even know why they would take the extra step to put this here. I, I can't imagine that this is any less expensive than black zinc or black oxide. Okay, but it's colored. People like colors. Okay, this thing is so slippery in my back. Like it feels like it's just gonna fall off. Yes, this is, yes. It also, like, it's not a crazy amount of weight. It's 275 pounds. It's not a lot of weight. Like it feels like it's like. It was flexing. Yeah, it's, fl it's flexing. What's the max weight limit on this anyways? It's coming in at a whopping 350. Okay, so we pretty much, uh, that's pretty close to what's on there. All right, let's throw more weight on and let's just see how much weight it can hold. Okay, suggested so weight capacity, what, 350? 350. This is 225 plus 55. This is 335 pounds. If you watch the bar in the middle, as I put some pressure on here, it's just flexing. Man. 515, I mean, that thing is just. Yowza, dude. Okay, all right, I got another one. 
I think we're gonna run out of room. Watch out, Sam! Watch out! Watch out! Okay, I can already tell the bar is permanently deformed already. Look at this, Sam. That could have been your head, by the way, right there. Been. Oh my gosh. <laughs> so if you're doing any sort of Olympic lifting, dropping, like that simulated action we did of bouncing the bar is what happens when you drop it. It hits, especially if you have thin plates on there, and then it bows. The problem with cheap steel like this is it permanently deforms. I mean, that's a, that is quite a bit of weight at this stress point going up and down, but Aleko is like, it should be able to handle that just fine, yeah. See, a bar like this, you don't even really want to, you, you don't even want to do it to it. This is the first time I've ever seen you like mistreat an Aleko. 335. All right, I'm gonna bounce it up and down a little bit. I mean, that's some serious whipping action, right? Way we tell if it's straight, place it on the ground. It's, it's exactly as you get it out of the tube. How do we put more weight on it? We're gonna have an idea. I don't know if you're gonna like it. I gotta take a call, just go do, just take care of it. Here's the plan. Sam and his infinite level of genius decided to rent a forklift so we can officially test how much weight this bar can hold. This forklift can hold up to 5,000 pounds. This bar can supposedly, before permanent deformation, can hold up to 3,300 pounds. We're gonna test that. Sam has these bags, these canvas bags that can each hold two tons. This forklift is set. The tines are at shoulder width. I did that because it's like basically somebody squatting and they have the bar on their back. What well, would take it to permanently deform? Probably as much weight as I can squat. We've got the bar set up. We're going to attach the bags to chains. We're then going to be placing bumper plates. Lots and lots of rubber bumper plates in the bags. How much weight do you think it can hold? Let me know in the comments. Sam, how much weight do you think it's going to hold? I'm going, I'm going for 4,000. I think it could hold like tens of thousands of pounds before breaking, but before permanent deformation, what that means is being going from straight to bent and permanently, like we saw with the cap barbell. Dude, I, 3,000 pounds is a lot of weight, especially this isn't on a rack with J-cups really wide at 47 inches. I mean, this is shoulder width. Shoulder that width. is close. So uh, basically we're gonna put a bunch of weight in. We're gonna lift it up, bend it, see what happens, see if it stays straight once we lower it back down and just keep adding more weight. This is pretty much like if The Rock did a squat with an Aleco bar. The Rock doesn't lift legs. Okay, let's go. Okay, we've got over a thousand pounds. How much weight do we have in here, Sam? 1,120 pounds. 1,120 pounds, so that's split evenly between the two. As you can see, they are in these massive Ikea sacks with lots and lots of rubber bumpers. We are going to chain these. Wrap this around the bag and chain them to the bar. How much weight can these chains hold? 5,000 pounds. Okay, I think we should be good there. All right. We're in there like swimwear. Okay, Sam, do the honors. I don't know if you noticed, but I just lifted a bar that has 1,000 pounds attached to it. Everybody clear? I'm nervous. All right, there's the bar, there's the bar, there's the bar. The bar's bending, the bar's bending. Okay, yep, 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 all right, all right. Space underneath, I just cheated death there. My wife is gonna be pissed. Okay, I think that's 1,000 pounds, bring it down, bring it down. 
Okay, from my vantage point, now I'll take this off maybe after our next run. I don't think we need to off this run. Just from looking at it, it looks pretty darn straight. Yeah. It went right back it to right back. it went right back to normal. 1100 pounds. I mean, I think it's kind of impressive because it's at this shoulder width at the same time. It's designed to hold that much. This is It is only a third of the weight they claim. It's that true. It can hold. It's, it's true. It is. It is. Depending on how this goes, if you'd like to see this versus another bar or another product category, maybe there's another product category that we should test. Let me know in the comments. And if you're into that sort of thing, make sure you subscribe because we've got a lot of these coming. Let's get to 3,000. Let's do it. We are running out of weight. 3,050 pounds. Sweet. Okay. We're at 3,050 pounds. I think we need to test it at least at the limit they're asking. So I think we need some more weight on the end. We are at 3,370 pounds. 3,370 pounds. So and I'm pretty sure on over. 70 pounds over what they claim as basically the max weight limit. Check out the sweat on Nathan's back. That's just hard work, clean living, boy. Nobody sees the silent assassin, but Nate's here working just like we are. He still has to edit all this. RIP Nate. All right, let's do it. It's do or die time. All right, you guys ready? Oh, I'm so freaking excited. Yes, it is bending. Oh my. Look at this, look at this, look at that. No freaking way. Okay, we have liftoff. Dude, look at the bend on this. I think the only thing left is to drop it and see if it's straight. I don't know, like it's been a minute, two minutes. Let me know in the comments if you think it's gonna go back to straight right now. Bring her down. Bring her down, everybody clear? Clear! That bastard is straightening out. It may have a little bend. I don't know if that's the weight that's still on there. Let's unhook it and then we'll just have you roll it forward. Oh, that's all right. Oh! All right, it's, it's, it's bent. Yep, she is bent. Not as much as one might think. I would say this is definitely unusable for proper weight training, but I'm sure there are people that lift with worse. All right, let's, I think I'm done for the day. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Before we stop rolling, we know it took 3,370 pounds to bend the Aleco. It only took like 400 pounds to bend the cap, but I mean, just for the heck of it, let's do the 3,000 pounds on the cap barbell <laughs> just to see if we can snap it. Okay, I'll stay for that. Okay. Let's do it. All right. Oh my goodness. Just keep going. Just keep going. Come on, it's stretching the metal. Oh. This is so scary to be sitting back here. It's lifting it. It's lifting it. Oh, it did it! Yeah. We are off the ground. We have liftoff, sir. Now that is a buffalo bar. That is insane, Sam. All right, well, glad we did that. Um, as you can see, this one, uh, this is permanently deformed. This is, <laughs> this is done. I don't think you could lift with this one again. Uh, but just to show you the $80 barbell with the same weight we put on the $1,000 barbell, this is what happened versus that. I would definitely feel safer using that one. <laughs> when lifting 3,000 pounds, absolutely. Exactly, yeah. which I'm doing on a weekly basis. I, I kinda wanna do a squat with it to see how it feels. Dude, did we just invent a new bar? Look at this, look at that paint. It just exploded off of there. Look at my form though. Oh, that's perfect. Oh man, see, just it's just paint. They just painted the bar. They ran their numbers, I mean, it 3, was 3,370 pounds, that's what it took. Well, we know how much weight it takes to bend a $1,000 bar. Way more weight than it does an $80 bar. What's the moral of the story? Number one, don't run a forklift and put 3,000 pounds on a barbell. Number two, you get what you pay for. This is a much better lifting experience. The reality is most people, they should probably be somewhere in the middle. We kind of knew that already, didn't we? We did. But we did that. <laughs> that was freaking fun. That was good. Did you like that sort of content? Let us know in the comments. Would you like to see more of this? 
make sure you subscribe because we have a few other tests we're wanting to do with other fitness products similar to this. And if you'd like to see ones you got ideas, let us know in the comments as well. This Coop from Garage Gym Reviews. This is Sam from Garage Gym Reviews. Your name's not Sam, what's your name? Say it. Say it. This is a Sam Belay from Garage Gym Reviews. Thank you, Sam Wow. We will see you next time. Peace.